are back at you today with a little update on which banana varieties we have fruiting currently in our collection, in our collection of bananas. We have uh, like 32 now. 32, yeah. I think varieties of bananas. One. We have them planted pretty much all over our property, but several of them are in different stages of uh, fruit production. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go around. We're not going to show you all the different varieties of bananas we have. We have several varieties that just are just banana plants right now, no mm -hmm. fruit. So we're only going to show you ones that have fruit on them. Yeah. We're in uh, central Florida, coastal central Florida, zone 10A. Uh, and we do everything 100% organic. So uh, this is basically we just water our bananas. I don't even do one. We, we do use some fish emulsions and stuff like that on that on them. other plants, but not the, the, the bananas. All I do is water them. And we so. chop and drop. And chop and drop. But that's it. So, yeah. so the first one we'll start with right here. This is our patch of mysores. You guys can see up there. We do have a rack of mysores. These leaves are coming in the way. Maybe if I get, oops, excuse me, sweetie. Get up under here you can see them and this is a kind of like a fingerling banana um they they're they're a smaller variety but and you guys can see there's like probably 120 on that rack right mm -hmm. i mean there's a lot of them up there and they got a ways to go that rack does but that's the first one that has fruit on it here so let's see then we got um oh right here this is a good one this is an exciting one our yeah. praying hands banana it's just a magnificent plant just in general. I mean it is. Look how big it is. Look at this. And look at this yeah. pup. Yeah, oh. this look at this pup look right at here. Wasp oh, yeah. nest. Yeah, wasp nest. Not least leaves. But yeah, look at this pup right here. I mean look how look how stout it is. I mean and it's it's got a while to go, so that's gonna be a massive plant. I mean yeah. this one in the background is I mean, it's probably our second largest variety of banana. Well no, probably our fourth. It's a very That's sturdy right. variety. It is. Too. Yep. I feel like we don't have, we haven't had a prop. We've had two fruit yeah. for us, and we didn't have to prop either one of them. But you can see up here, guys, they're called praying hands because the bananas are like fused together. Um, kind of show them, like, yeah, like, like that. This. They're not, um, they're like kind of pointed. They're not like instead fingers, of, like, instead of like this one. Yeah, hold on. Um, I'll get to that one in a minute. Hold on. Yeah, we'll show them. You know, I mean, you know, like regular bananas, but, uh, uh, super cool, and they're also one of our favorite uh, eating bananas. The oh, kids yeah, love them. Oh yeah, they're really sweet. Um, they uh, um, are good for cooking too. I mean, because they're like a dessert banana, yeah. I guess. That's what some people would call them. But a dessert banana, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, they're well let's. They're good for eating fresh. I That's guess how we mostly. Let's go ahead and move on to this one. So these are our Mona Lisas, and you guys can see we have th we have two. Um, two racks of them right here this one is uh a little younger in fact the flower you can see the flowers just finished putting off like viable fruit so we'll um this flower is not really overhanging our patio or our walkway in any way i might just leave it on there yeah. you guys can see this one i chopped off i mean really just because it was making a big mess mm -hmm. um on the patio but this one right here you can see this is kind of a weak if you let's step back for a minute you can see how much lean this plant has to it and this was kind of a kind of a small th this these should be a little bigger um this was kind of a weenie plant to begin with so uh -huh. i think we're going to harvest these early we we'll probably harvest them today actually um just because for one we have so many bananas that are going to come ripe at the same time you know uh -huh. like just a timing thing and for look, one they're yellow even. Yeah, and some of them are starting to yellow. And yeah. really, this plant, like, I'll bet you, here, hold this. I bet you I could knock this over with uh, not much force. I mean, it's like about to, well, it's still got some life in it. So, I mean, those really could, these really could probably stay on the plant for um, another week or two. But uh, like I said, we're, we're going to have so many come due at the same time that I think we're going to take these off and just yeah. let them ripen in the house. And they're like, they've rounded out. At this point. Yeah, they're good yeah. enough. They'll yeah. they'll ripen and be fine. So, yeah. so we got two racks of Mona Lisas here, and let's uh, let's see. The next one we got fruiting is this is another one that's almost done. Yeah, this one our uh, dwarf Orinoco. Orinoco. You guys can see right here. These are these are almost like a plantain banana. Oh, do you hear those bees? Oh, I do hear them. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's the stink oh, horn. Oh, it's the stink horn. Yeah, it's a, they're not bees. Check <laughs> it out, guys. Fly. Yeah, we have a stink horn mushroom here with um, probably some kind of flesh flies all over it. 
and you can see a lizard. He's, uh, I don't know what he's doing. I thought he was catching flies, but flies are all, oh, yep, he's catching flies. And you can see, so this is what it looks like after it pops out, but this little white ball right here, that's how they start out. And then you can see um, after it pops out of the ground, it turns into this, and they're called stinkhorn mushrooms because they stink. Yeah, they and they smell. stink because I guess they use they, flies to, yep. so any fly um, pollinated. Yeah, and I don't anything. think that's a, this mushroom is not native to our, our area. I'm pretty sure it arrived with our garden mulch. Uh, yes, I think that's, it definitely comes from yeah. a cedar mulch. Yeah, so. All right, so we got our Orinocos here. You can see this is what happens, guys. After the flower stops putting off viable fruit, um, it'll just keep putting off these little teeny fla fruits, flowers, um, and the stalk will just keep going and going. And yeah, doesn't harm the plant whether you cut it off or leave it, so. All right, now we're moving on to this one. This is one of our giant varieties of bananas. Um, this is our mystery variety that was on the property when we bought it. And I mean, not only is the plant itself giant, but it puts off big, nice racks of big bananas. I think it's an Orinoco. A, uh, not a uh, no, a uh, Saba of some kind, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Orinoco, you think? Well, it looks just The fruit like, looks like it, for sure. The fruit looks almost identical. Yeah, now this one is like a giant variety, and you can see here, guys, we almost always have to prop them. They lean big time. It's not ideal. It's not, I mean... We, I don't really like to prop them. That's a, it's a lot of work, and sometimes it doesn't even, depending on how it's leaning, your, however you prop it's going to be in the way. We but, only have one prop, too. Yeah. So we have to... But you can see we have two giant racks of them on yeah. these, and we actually have more on some other... We have some more mystery bananas on other place, in other places in our property with fruit. So Now let's move up here. We don't have fruit on this one, but this is the... Um, Dodge Yeah, and you guys can see... This one needs a trimming doesn't have fruit but you can see up there it's got a flag leaf and a flower coming out of it let's see if i can get up there so you can see it where is it where is it here we go so this leaf right there that's the flag leaf it's a smaller leaf it's like a dwarfed leaf and that's what lets you know that the plant's about to put out a flower and you can see the flower right there so we're about to get fruit on this one and this will be our first time getting fruit on uh, this variety. Yeah, off this variety. Off you can see it's a nice stout um kind of medium dwarf. It's like wouldn't it's call like it's a dwarf compared to a lot of other bananas we have, but that's a stout dwarf banana Some plant. Little, uh, honey mushrooms maybe. Yeah, oh nice. And then we got several other varieties up in the front of our property, but none have um fruit on them. So we're going to keep moving this way and uh, maybe we'll do another tour of the whole collection where we show everybody all the bananas and all the different stages here's a couple more bananas we have these are these are looking sorry we'll just oh, this one fell over. yeah that's, that's becoming our banana nursery right there oh, did you see Brent? They, uh, it shot off a pup what did the, the one that we planted oh wonderful holy crap i just moved this like two weeks ago because it, it got knocked uh, well, maybe three weeks ago. It could be because this one went through shock. Maybe we should cut this one down. Oh, well, yeah. Look at this. That's a nice spear sucker right there. Yeah. Nice. All right. Great. All right. Here's a couple more varieties, but they don't have fruit on them. Um, so we'll keep moving here. I think we have to round the corner over here to get to some fruit. Um, yeah. So let's, let's just keep going this way. We don't have a lot of bananas planted down here because the winds we get off of the water. Uh, in fact, that's why that one we just showed you, it was on this corner here, um, right up against the screen. And it just kept, it got beat to death every time we had a wind event and it finally blew over. You can see now, this is quite amazing. Look at all the pups that it shot up after we removed it though. I mean, we have like a whole little nursery of this banana right here. Yeah, it's like there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pups that it shot up right there. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe those will be stouter and do better. The That's the lack of tan? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go over here and see what we got. What we got going on. Let's see here. Oh, look at that. Is that a... Got a, That's a on the fourth red. Look at that. I didn't even notice Remember, this one. I That's a big flag leaf right there. You see that? That's a big flag leaf. So that leaf right there in the center, 
is the flag leaf, but you guys can see it has a flower down in there. It is pushing a flower. I didn't even notice this one. Which one is this, babe? This is the dwarf red. Dwarf red. Well, this is going to be an exciting one because I do believe this one will have red bananas. And yeah, we've never had this Exterior. one fruit for us. The peels will be red, but okay. the inside I think looks the same. Yeah. But that'll be cool. All right, awesome. Excited. We'll have awesome. to do an update on that we, one. We planted this one a while back. Yeah, we did. It was a slow get one to get started, but we have good looking pups down there. So oh, yeah, look at that. Quicker. You're right. You know. You're right. All right. So here's some more mystery bananas. This is actually the stand that was on the property when we bought it, when we bought the property. And you can see we have one kind of pathetic rack of bananas right They're there. They're nice and round, though. They are, yeah. And then I think there's one or two more that have bananas over here. Um, this Here's a rack right here. And again, this is the mystery, mystery variety. And that was off of a larger one you planted. Yeah, so that's probably I, yeah. Why, that's probably why it's a smaller yeah. rack. Do we have any over here that have fruit on them or a flag leaf? No. Yeah, we do, right here. Oh, my gosh. This is the, uh, the Pasang Raha. Yeah, the Pasang Raha. You can see these are teeny tiny, guys. Yeah, they're, they're uh, my tour height. Oh, it's like a hybrid? Um, it might be red because Raha means red. Okay. Um, so like a red mysore. I honestly, I don't, I don't remember. Okay. But well, we're we're lucky to have these guys because about a year ago, I planted these two years ago, and about a year ago, my pool filter exploded and like just flooded this plant and almost killed it. In, in fact, I'm not. It might have killed the original one that was there, and these are the pups that came up. But um, it did come back, and I mean, look at this spear sucker we got coming off of this right here. I mean, that's yeah. excellent. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if these go to full maturity. I mean, this plant still looks strong. Yeah. It's still I holding on. It's still got it. nice green leaves up there. I think shortly after this one, we'll we'll take these off early because this one right here. Yeah. This is the one that came up after the thing happened yeah and it's going at a faster pace. oh yeah and it's way bigger too look yeah. at that so. all right cool yeah all right let's go so we got um we showed them this one yeah i think we got them all and what's going on with this one up here is there anything up there flag leaf or anything or is Leaning. it just it's just growing Usually and growing fine, it is but these always lean yeah they also lean too when there's like two next to each other. Or if they're reaching for the sun or yeah. there's other. All right, well, I think that I think that about does it for this. Uh, for this, for the banana, for, for our what is fruiting update. Um, like I said, we have lots of other varieties. Uh, we just wanted to do an update on the ones fruiting um, right now because we have a lot of them going off. Yeah. And I have a feeling there's more that are just about to go off too. So. Yeah. All right, y'all, if you have any uh, questions or comments about any of the banana varieties we showed you here today, just post down below. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.